The court is jam-packed with students, parents, friends and guardians, all here to witness the arraignment of the 27 students. They are being arraigned on a six-count charge of arson, malicious damage of property, unlawful assembly, and rioting. After the preliminary hearing, the presiding magistrate, Uriyomi Shofuora, grants them bail on the condition that they provide two shorties each, of which one must be a parent who resides in Ogun State and another shorty who must own property worth 100,000 naira or above. With the students unable to immediately satisfy the bail condition, they are headed off to the Barra prison. At this point, one of them fades, and then this drama ensues. The judge, the, 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 the judge has delivered, uh, delivered his judgment and granted them bail. And they left, the, 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 the left one of the victims. Even when, 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 when he fainted, they, they were still there. Instead of them to take him to the hospital, they were still there pressing his tummy, pouring water on him as if they are they 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 in position to give him the first aid. There are also reports making the rounds that one of the students was shot in the head. A report that the Ogun State government refutes. He was not shot with bullet. It was tear gas. The school authorities on the flip side have closed down the school for the mid-semester break, which will last for just seven days. This, the management says, will allow them enough time to rectify the issues of water and electricity supply which the students have complained about.